college football is going to happen. Obviously, we're not sure, but it's going to happen. And I, I think just so that everyone doesn't completely go psycho, it really it really needs to happen at some point. So I'm, I'm rooting for it. I'm rooting for the athletes, the coaches, the administrations, the universities, um, because it's a, it's a big, important fabric of every university. So I hope it happens. And I hope students can witness it. It's, and, and I would really be disappointed if we had gains and no students, student athletes. So I hope that they can witness it as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I do believe 2021 will be back up. Uh, I think fall is is sketchy. There's no, I know cross country is a little nervous about that. It's going to be sketchy, but I think that we'll be back up in the spring. But the only way it can happen is if we are diligent about uh, what we're supposed to do and we're safe and we protect ourselves and we protect our community. Um, I, I read something about, about two months ago about a, a doctor was saying that really the reality is that we're not going to get around the corner until about 60 to 70 percent of the people have been affected at one way or another either uh they've, they've tested positive they've uh, been sick or they are carrier or something and so whether we like it or not the numbers are going to get up and then a vaccine can kind of give us the confidence to get back but the big issue is that and i keep telling the student athletes everyone i know it doesn't really matter we will not be the same we're not going to pack people in that close anymore People are going to be nervous, even with the vaccine. So how do we adjust our economy? How do we adjust our stadiums? How do we adjust um, our airplanes, places that we usually pack people in really tight in a new world where everyone's a little bit nervous? So I think that the sooner we start adjusting our mind to that way, uh, the better off we're going to be. I really do believe we're going to have spring. Winter, I'm not sure, um, but we'll have spring. But it would be interesting if to fall in the winter sport did not happen. I mean, it would be terrible for us. It would be terrible for uh, college sports in all sports. But then it'd be an entire year because it, one of the things that I think a lot of the athletes in, in the public doesn't realize is that we have to redshirt um, basically like almost all of our team went into our season. So that's this pandemic of just last spring um, and uh, winter is going to affect every single school for the next four years. Um, Everyone talks about bringing seniors back, and, and I want to thank our administration because our administration is committed to our program. We're bringing every senior that wants to come back that we want back back, um, and we're supporting it 100%, and uh, they're coming back. They're excited. They're going to get their degrees, and that's kind of what we really want to do, finish the mission, and the university and uh, President Couture, Dr. Couture and Chris Pesman have really, really stepped up to support us in that regard. But the thing is, for some schools, it's it's a bad thing. You're you can't bring kids back, and that's tough. Or you had a the great team like like LSU was tremendous last year, and then I know they were frustrated that they didn't get a chance to run. Well, I'd be frustrated the same way. It's a great program and a great team, but for us, it's the opposite. We we had a lot of new guys that were coming in that we needed to get ready. Now they have an extra year, so I think it's going to happen at at the worst case scenario, spring. I'm really optimistic about winter. Fall, I'm really uh, nervous about.